talk about part two of the flirt pole training. Um, we're, today we're going to be adding some control to it and I'm going to kind of, I want this to be super clear, eventually we're going to put a weight cue on this. Today Star has never been asked any kind of control so when I start to add the control portion, asking her to do something that she doesn't know how to do yet is, uh, is not going to work. So. Uh, so I want you to understand that for today there is no word, but eventually we're going to add an, an honest to goodness weight cue. Do you want this thing? Yes, you do. She's standing on it. I'm gonna wait for her to loosen up. Watch. Oh, I got it. Ready? I'm gonna go the other way. If you have not watched part one of this video yet, be sure to go back and watch part one. I don't want to clog this video up with uh, like a recap. So go back to part one. So right now I'm just going to, I'm trying, I wanted to build her drive. There's a new toy at the end of this that she's never seen. Get it, get it, get it, get it. And if you watched part one, then you know that we want to have a lot of chases and catches. So since I just pulled her, I don't want to go right into control. That's going to be no fun for her. That's going to be really boring. So, ready, ready. Get it. So we're having a lot of fun. She thinks it's a great game. Oh my goodness, there's some place to have a tug with it. Tug up, tug up, tug up, tug up, tug up. Boop, boop, boop. Yeah. Yeah, good girl. Notice that I changed direction. The toy always stays on the floor. I just slid it across the floor. Yes, good girl. We love a toy. Oh, 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 oh. There we go. There we go. I want her to parade around with it for a minute. What a good girl. What a good girl. Oh, yes. Good exercise. It's good exercise. Oh, oh, oh. So now I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to add the next part. So I'm going to actually flip it in the air. When I do that, I want her to stop moving. Remember, she's never seen this phase of it before. Oh, she got it. So this could take a while. <laughs> it could take a while. She'll have no idea that me flipping it means to stop moving. So what's going to happen is as I flip it and flip it and flip it, She's going to lose interest and she's eventually going to stop. In which case, I will reward her get it, get it, get it, with some chasing and catching. I will only do one control session in a week. After today, and I'm only going to do it once on camera, so after today, we will go several days just chasing and catching. She'll never see it flip for several days. If all we do is ask for control, da, 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 da. oh my goodness, if all we ever do is ask for control, you will, con you will kill their drive for the toy. You will kill their drive for the toy. And we do not want to kill their drive. The whole point of this is that it's loads of fun and we can get a great deal of exercise. Can we parade this way? Girl, good girl. <laughs> okay, so once I get it from her, we're gonna I'm gonna show you how we start the control phase. Get it, get it, get it. And I'm gonna flip. As she runs after it, so I'm gonna flip it again. I want no motion at all. I'm looking for a complete stop in movement. Most dogs 
would be rushing for this. Looking for a complete stop in motion. My chow puppy took five days for her to stop moving towards it. In fact, eventually, I just caught her by her collar and made her stop. <laughs> I don't recommend it, but she did take a long time. And when I say a long time, I mean five days. Most dogs will get it within the first session. It's killing me. I let her walk a few steps, hoping that I'm going to get a complete stop. I want a complete stop. She's moving quite slow, which is not normal for most dogs. Here we just lost her, so that's all, that's all that happened. <laughs> patience, folks, patience. She lost complete interest and walked away. And, and I don't want that either. So we have to be careful. Yes, that's a good girl. killing their drive with the toy, right? Actually, there's several hanging up over there, and she was like, well, forget it. If I can't have this one, I'll just walk over and get those. So I really want her to think, to think through this and to understand that the moment she stops moving, she gets to get the toy. Oh, I love it. Get it, get it, get it. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Yes, good girl. Very good. <laughs> You're so good. You're so, I want you to parade with it. There we go. <laughs> she cheats by stepping on it. Super job, ready? Get it, 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 yay! Good girl, good girl. I'm gonna try this flipping one more time. Like I said, she lost interest in this one. We have several hanging over there, so she, I mean, appeared to at least say, well, if I can't have this one, I will grab another one. She does seem to be moving a little bit more fast this time, so maybe she's in the right mood. Maybe she's in the right mood. Oh, that's good, that's good, that's good, that's good, that's good. <laughs> oh, she's really got it. She's really got it. So she's a little baby, she does not have a dropper out command yet. Aren't you, aren't you a big girl? Now I will not flip this 
to it again for several days. She will not see that picture again for several days. Remember, the very first time we tried, she was like, well, I'm just gonna go get these ones that are hanging over here. We really don't want that. This is gonna turn into a real life skill someday where I'm gonna be able to say, wait, while they're chasing. You're on an off-leash hike and they're chasing squirrels or you're at the park and they're chasing ducks and you wanna be able to tell them to just stop moving. Maybe they're just running too far ahead and you just want to say, wait, and they'll hit the brakes right where they're at and you can catch up. Um, they're chasing squirrels and you say, wait, and they hit the brakes and now you can say, come here, whatever the case might be. But um, the first thing we want to make sure we do or don't do is we don't want to kill drive. If we kill drive, we will lose the chance to use this toy to our advantage. Um, the squirrels, they, they, the dogs will never lose drive for rabbits, for squirrels, for deer, for other dogs, for bicycles, kids on skateboards, whatever the case might be. The dogs will never lose drive for those things. They, will, they have an intrinsic value because the dog can chase them. But if we're always plugging in control with our floor pole, then we're telling our dogs, we have nothing fun here. Nothing fun happens here. All the fun happens out there. We have to build the value and the fun and the excitement right here and then start to plug in control information into our games. So um, then we will spend several uh, days just playing chase and catch before we do wait again. This will not be the last time you see a star. She'll, she'll be around. So uh, keep a lookout for her progress. Have fun with your dogs today.